ahead and let that load. Um, on my time, it's going to be about 40 minutes, probably less, until I'm actually done. The whole installation, the whole uh, checking to see if it's v activated, and the validation part too. Um, and depending if I have any internet connections, I think this will be a, a total breeze. But uh, in your guys' time, it should be like about 15 minutes times uh, with a uh, uh, YouTube's limit. Okay, so we're here at Windows 7. We go ahead and press next. We go ahead and press install Windows. And it'll come up to the site. Okay, so you come up to your selection screen on which Windows 7 that you want to prefer. Remember the architecture, there's both architectures. One is 86 and one is 64. If you guys don't know what 86, you'll be surprised to know that it is a uh, 32-bit version. 64-bit is um, for those computers uh, that have 4 gigs or higher, they're able to use all 4 gigs or higher of their memory RAM. If you guys have uh, a 32-bit version of uh, Windows 7 that you're going to install and you have 4 gigs, you know that you'll only be able to use 3.25. So. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 7 Ultimate. You guys do have a selection to go ahead and install your Windows 7 or your Windows 7 Standard Enterprise and Foundation release uh, versions, release two versions. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Then it is going to go ahead and take me to this window. I want to agree. I'm going to go to Custom Advance because that would be the best option. Now you'll see this window right here and you'll see all these other ones that you might have. What you want to do is you want to click on one, each one. You want to go to Drive Options Advance. You want to click on it and you want to go ahead and delete. Then go to the other one. Then delete until it adds up to one. Now if you have any external hard drives connected, um, just know that those are your external hard drives. They have nothing to do with your internal hard drives on your desktop or laptop. So click on it again, highlight it, don't press new, just click next because it's going to create a new volume. And uh, then after that you just sit back and uh, let it install. Um, this is going to install a little longer for me so I'm going to fast forward it. But overall it should take you guys about a good half hour to, in, uh, to have this installed. It's just not that hard. Um, that was the whole process to go ahead and get it started. Um, once the in installation is finished, I'll go ahead and uh, be right back and show you guys that this version does come activated. There is a key in it. It does come pre-activated. Then we'll move on to the Windows activation technologies. Just go ahead and um, let Microsoft go ahead and validate this version of Windows 7 and make sure that it is a genuine licensed uh, version of Windows 7. So uh, let this go ahead and install, and once it comes up to the pop-up screen, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, hang on for a second.
Okay, if we finally have an installation that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, desktop to see if Windows 7 is activated. After that, I'll go ahead and move on to you uh, to see if uh, Windows 7 is genuinely activated. There's uh, two di different things. To actually have it activated and then to validate it through Windows activation technologies. So hopefully I have internet, so I'm going to go ahead and move on real fast to the computer. You want to go to the start button, right click computer, go to properties. Okay, so you'll eventually see that it is activated. I'm going to go to Windows Update to go ahead and stop any updates because I have to get this particular update coming from Windows Activation Technologies first. Okay, so, oh, wow, good. I already have 44 updates and I already have 35 optional updates all ready to go. That's one good point uh, that I want to go ahead and let you guys know is that you can update anytime you want. Don't be afraid to do any updates. So I'm going to go to the internet right now. And uh, anytime now I should be connected. On the search bar over here on the right, you can type in Windows Activation Technology, or actually Windows Validation, or you can type it right here. Type in Windows Validation. Alright, once you guys got that, go ahead and click Web Search. It will take you to a Microsoft site called Genuine Microsoft Software. Okay, you click on that. It'll take you to a page, and you'll see this one button that says Validate. You click on it. You type in Validate Windows. Alright. Now if you go down the page, alright, and you go ahead and download. Then after that, when prompted, you go ahead and select Continue. Okay, you go ahead and run. Don't save it, just run it, because it is an update. You don't need to save an update, you need to install it. And what this update is, is the Windows Activation Technologies update. You know, it says so right here. Alright, so just go ahead and minimize that real quick, like. Let this go ahead and it, uh, download, then after that, let it install. It will take a minute. Then once it's installed, we'll go ahead and validate it, and I'll go ahead and yet again prove you guys that my Windows 7 will always be genuine, according to Microsoft. Uh, what this particular Windows 7 is, it's based around the OEM um, foundation, so I mean, the versions that you, you usually get when you buy a computer, they already have a pre-installed version of Windows 7. So, what that means is that you're basically getting a computer that is kind of like that. It's already pre-installed. You don't have to worry about activating anything. It's already genuine. The key's already embedded. And that's all you guys have to do is just go ahead and sit back and um, enjoy your your computer and do some multitasking stuff and communication stuff as well. Alright, so it's updating the package and then it's going to install it. Okay, right after this uh, update, you guys want to go ahead and click that continue button, the one that you saw earlier. I'll go ahead and go back to it. If you guys even knew what behind the scenes was like to go ahead and get this um, on and the internet connected, you guys would not know. It was diff difficult. But I finally got it. <laughs> Alright, so let that install. It shouldn't take that long, but I'll go ahead and be patient this time. But uh, 
gosh, I, I got a question for you guys. I mean, what what are you guys going to have installed? Are you guys going to have, you know, by default Windows 7 Ultimate? Are you guys going to want that installed? It'd be it'd be great, you know, there's a lot more features, but um have you s decided to install uh Windows Server 2008? You guys don't know what that is, but go ahead and check it out. Anyways, uh update installation succeeded. That means that's good. It installed alright so what you want to do next is continue and then this little pop-up is going to go ahead and um, pop out and you want to go ahead and run add-on on all websites go ahead and press run and this is the best, best part right here you get to go ahead and see that Microsoft has validated this copy of Windows 7 that you have genuine or at least the one that I have. Um, it'll validate all the ones that I'll be giving out um, in due time. Okay, Windows validation was successful. So with your uh, pre-installed version of Windows 7, you do have a genuinely licensed um, Windows 7 on your computer. Alright, so I will go ahead and exit.